I have a steady job. I exercise. I'm in a book club. <laughs> I have become the kind of woman I've always hated. It is nice to see you wearing underwear. <laughs> and not on your head. Here we go. Oh, Greg, honey, can I trouble you for some water without ice? Ice isn't good for my digestive system. Yeah, of course. Really? Ice? I think your digestive system has seen worse than ice. <laughs> Excuse me? Mom, I've watched you lick cocaine crumbs out of a shag carpet. <laughs> it's not a sin to be thrifty, dear. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I stole that kind of money, I'd make damn sure I had a getaway plan that didn't involve a tricycle. You're right. I should have just whipped out my boobs and grabbed a lawnmower. Calm down, ladies. You're both gangsters. Hey, sun's coming out. Thank you, Annie. about that first time I've gone the whole night without a drink in like 16 17 years oh damn I am an alcoholic cheer up there's lots of meetings in prison I really don't like you it's okay I like myself enough for the both of us I just want to thank both of you for coming over so we can discuss the uh Child conceived in sin? <laughs> You're right. I am the cool parent. Look, did you learn nothing from your father's Bible class? I'm sorry, what? Bible class? Yes. Nathan is the head pastor at the Baptist Church in Santa Rosa. Oh, that's just hilarious. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Father. All right, I just want to say that we've all really come to love your son, and I know that my daughter is crazy about him, so I'm sure there's a happy ending in here somewhere. If Violet just gave him a happy ending, we would... Mom! <laughs> so, when are you seeing him again? I'm not. Why? Did you steal something from his apartment? <laughs> no! Who does that? No one. <laughs> Continue. It's just... He drinks an awful lot. So? What do you mean, so? I'm closing in on a year sober. I can't be around that kind of stuff. Oh, come on. What's the point of building a better life if you can't let a man treat you like a whore every once in a while? <laughs> it was a one-night stand. End of story. Wait. How about this? You double up on your meetings and bang him till his liver explodes. Win-win. That's great advice. You really should be a life coach. No, you're being sarcastic, but my probation officer says the same thing. I lied to you guys a lot. Even about stuff I didn't have to. And uh, I'm not proud about that. I mean, I'm proud of how well-crafted the lies were. <laughs> You know, doing anything well is its own reward. <laughs> but your trust means a lot to me, and I'm very sorry. It'll never happen again. But the thing is... But the thing is... <laughs> it's not all my fault. I mean, the doctors, the pharmaceutical companies, the rehab centers, they're all in cahoots. I would not be surprised if my back injury was a result of showering in a bathtub that was purposely designed to make you fall. I don't mean to sound paranoid, but we might be looking at a giant pharmaceutical medical plumbing conspiracy. Are we allowed to boo? Anyway, that's it. Put those daisy stickers down in your tub, otherwise they win. I can't believe I fell for this again. Well, to be fair, I am a Hollywood-level liar. Well, I should know better, because I am whatever's worse than Hollywood. Nothing's worse than Hollywood. As much as I want to strangle you right now, I can't, because I am you. Well, I was you. A drunk tornado ripping through people's lives. They wanted me to direct Sharknado 3. <laughs> I'm taking the high road, you toxic cesspool!
What I meant to say was... <laughs> the thing is, he never gets real about what happened. He may not want to. What's your point? He may not <laughs> want to. But I want to. I'm his wife. We should be able to talk about something as important as this. But if he doesn't, you have to respect his wishes and accept that. <laughs> okay, that's one. You know, you're only allowed two per session. The thing is, I don't want to be married to someone who's an island. I want a real partner. Do you know I've never seen him cry? Well, once, when he heard the Raiders were moving to Vegas. It's a hard day for a lot of people. I just wish he would open up to me more. What are you smirking at? You think this is funny? I just think it's funny that you thought you had nothing to talk about. No, no. It's a bug at my mouth. Every little problem Adam and I have turns into a fight. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too broken to be in a partnership with someone. <laughs> hey, for 35 bucks, I expect words. Shrink it up. What if I were to give you some tools to communicate with Adam better? Well, now we're talking. That sounds like value. Lay them on me. What I would suggest is when things get heated, uh, try some physical contact. You want me to hit him? <laughs> I mean, you know, granted, he won't see it coming. I want you to give him a gentle touch in order to maintain a loving connection during conflict. In our case, gentle touch frequently leads to sex, but maybe that's what you're going for. Sex is not a resolution for conflict. Then you're not doing it right. When I walked in that door eight years ago, I was so filled with fear, self-loathing, shame. But now, I kind of like me. I kind of love me. I love my husband, love my daughter, my friends, my grandkids. I even love those two crazy bitches in the back row. I think that's us. I've always heard people in meetings say how they're grateful alcoholics, and I never understood it. Actually kind of pissed me off, but now I get it. My name is Bonnie, and I'm a grateful alcoholic. And if that pisses you off, just keep coming back. Thank you. Would you guys join us for coffee? Just say yes. Yes. <laughs> Who else would like to share? <laughs>